And it, it does, I mean, we, we talk a lot about relationships. And certainly relationships drive a lot of activity. Sure they do. But the best relationships are the ones that you reference. They're deep. There's value being delivered. They are very happy to see that person come through the door because that person has a track record of helping them in their practice or their business, yeah. if you will. And the more of that type of help a rep can give to their customer, the more valuable they are, the deeper the relationship, the more business that rep will garner, and the better off their customer will yeah. be. And I, it's, okay, I, th I think we've blown it um, as okay. salespeople. Well, okay. First of all, there's, there's 34 million salespeople in the United States. Mm -hmm. I think most of them are underperformers. See, I don't think it's hard to be a great top performing salesperson because I think so many folks, especially in the up economy years, you really didn't have to be that prepared. You didn't sure. have to ask great questions. You didn't have to know how to, know, uh, uh, how to overcome common objections. You didn't have to be a big closer. You, you could be just average and your commission check would convince you that you were pretty darn good at this. Those days are done, right? You, you, you can't be that way anymore. And so you, you, you have to focus in improving your knowledge and your skill. It's the only way to change things. Now, I, I, let me give you one example. I had a client say to me recently, Brian, I'm having trouble getting into my client's doors. They, they won't see me anymore. Mm -hmm. And then I kept hearing this, that, that prospects won't see salespeople anymore. And I thought about it and I said, it's our fault. And I think it's our fault because often what we've done is we've shown up just to show up. And, and I think these prospects get to a point where they say, yeah, I don't really need to see you today. And you know, they'll often say, hey, should I pop by on Tuesday? Well, I don't really need to see you. Well, why don't they need to see us? Because the last five times we were there, we didn't add value to them. And so we've, we've created this habit that it's just a salesperson who's taking minutes out of my day. Which means if you are the value added salesperson who's going to be able to give them something that the other person won't, you've got huge potential in this market. This market more than ever is, I think, a perfect market for top performing salesperson people because the average and the below average performers, they're going to die. Well, I, I agree and I, and I do think you know, one of the benefits to the top performers is the economic downturn. It's a tougher environment today. Yeah. You referenced it. We see it across you know, the country in a number of different industries, animal health included. Now, times aren't terrible. I mean, it's still a very, very healthy industry. Yeah. But I think uh, you're certainly seeing you know, a sifting through and you know, the cream does rise to the top. Yeah. And it's a great time. You know, everyone seems to get hung up on the fact that, wow, we're in a bad time. It's a down economy. Gosh, my business is suffering. Man, my customers are having a harder time than I've seen them have in the last 10 years. What a great time to be that top performing sales rep, to bring in that new piece of equipment that can help that vet generate more revenue, to show him a new uh, pharmaceutical product that can really help you know, that end using customer. Yeah. What a great time to do that. Yeah. And those are the things that customers remember. Yeah. You know, and you, if you can add those things up with all the things you do in terms of you know, getting product there on a timely basis, you know, and so yeah. on and so See, forth. That's, you know, that's well, worth it. Well, you know what's funny? What, what was surprising to me, if you think of what recently happened, and, and it, pretty big event, uh, Barack Obama elected as president. Now, it doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. If you think of what he was selling, right, what was the product he was selling? And it was, it was change. Change was his product, right? Yes. Now. I agree. So the United States, the American people, bought change. So if that's the case, are they buying change as it relates to suppliers? Right? Here's my point. Um, people don't feel comfortable right now, right? And they didn't feel comfortable six months ago or November. And so when we don't feel real good about ourselves, we look for solutions. I ask salespeople, are you the solution? Are you the band-aid? Are you the feel good that your clients are looking for right now? You see, a lot of them say, my client, oh, they're pulling back, they're pulling back. No, they're not. They're actually antsy and they're looking for somebody to put their mind at ease. And so the question to salespeople, are you going to be the one that's going to, to, to make them feel like, I need something different, I need something different. Let them go to you because, you, because you, there, there's comfort in doing business with you. Because you you're bringing them equipment, yep. you're, you're keeping them up to date, and um, 
and you're providing fair value at a fair price. And so I, I, this whole pulling back bit, some truth to it, but um, there's also truth in that you've got to go into attack mode because they're looking for help.